Hey tribe, welcome to the tutorials for the iconic granny square bag pattern. Now these tutorials have been recorded in four separate parts so that you can quickly find out what you need to know and get back to your making. Each tutorial is designed to be a companion to the pattern, it's not intended to be a complete tutorial and so you will need to get a copy of the pattern for yourself. You can do that by clicking the link in the description box below. And I've also linked everything down below from the yarn and the hardware that I have used. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to put the pieces of your bag together. I have done the flap so far as you can see. And I've also done and I've also done the bag and I'm going to show you how I've done that just here. So this is definitely the most trickiest bit, it's really hard going on your wrists and it's a little bit time consuming but it is worth it because the bag looks so so good. I've been going through both loops of this stitch here which includes the loop that we have stitched to the reinforcement panel and then I've been going through two loops in the other panel that I'm joining to as well and then I simply slip stitch to pull it together now it's a bit tough going because you really have to wiggle your hook around to get it into the loops it's really important to get two loops because if you just do one then the bag won't be put together very well and then just to show you this bit again, what I've been doing is been going through a loop and then pushing down a bit further to get the other loop that's hidden down there. And that's just helping to make sure that the bag's really well put together and then pulling through to slip stitch. So I'll show you that one more time. Through both the loops, again, you have to wiggle it a little bit to get through here and then through two loops on the square below and then slip stitch to pull through. So you want to continue doing that the whole way around. You want to continue doing that the whole way around. When you get to a corner, you want to make sure that you're going into all the panels adjacent and go through just a couple of times here to make sure that there's not a hole in the corner and then once you've put it together it will stand up as an actual bag Brad! I can hear you on a tutorial, stop! Uh, 